There we go, guys. I have the scythe, and I've got the gold trooper. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Kai here, back with a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the Gold Trooper skin and the Scythe pickaxe, like I did in my video yesterday in Fortnite. Uh, completely free. Other points I want to make. It's only for PC. Nobody else can see this. this is on only you can see this. Everybody else will see Whiplash and the Batsicle or Plunger, depending on what you use. And yes, you do need the Whiplash. and the Batical or the Plunger, depending on which one you want to use. Uh, I'm going to be trying to figure out how you guys can do any skin with any other skin. I'm going to be trying to figure this all out for you guys. I'm going to be making more videos. If you guys want to turn on post notifications, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated with more videos on more skins so that you guys aren't just left with this skin. I'm going to be showing you guys more skins, more and more each day. So keep that in mind. But for now, this is just the Gold Trooper and the Scythe. So guys, also, you can't get banned for this because we're just changing the code. And it will erase every update, so you usually have to redo it. So what you guys are going to want to do firstly is you're going to want to go into Google, and you're going to want to Google HXD. It's going to come up with this one right here, and I believe everybody's going to download the 2.0, as that's Windows XP 2003 Vista 7, 8, or 10. Uh, I'm using 10, so that's the one I downloaded. Whenever you download that, it's going to give you an installer. You're going to want to do that. Uh, and then when you actually boot it, you're going to be greeted with this. This is the hxd um app you're going to want to click on open and you're going to want to, you're going to be on this pc so you're going to want to go to your local files program files uh fortnite 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 game content packs and you're going to be greeted with this now the one that you want to select is pack chunk zero dash windows client you don't want the dot pack dot pack you don't want the dot sync. You want this exact one right here, okay, guys? If you get this wrong, it won't work 100%. So you guys want this one, and you're going to double-click and open it. Now, this may look really confusing right here, but trust me, it is really not that hard. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do... Oh, by the way, this only works on Windows, no Mac, as you guys can probably tell. But you're going to want to go Control-R, and you're going to want to go to Hex Values. You're going to want to click on All, and you're going to be here with this, okay? Now, I'm going to be leaving this down in the description. This is the code you guys have to put in and replace with to get the skin to work. So basically what you guys are doing here is replacing the Whiplash skin with the Gold Trooper skin. Now I'm going to be trying to find out ways for you guys to replace, you know, like the Whiplash skin with like Dark Knight, things like that. But for now, this is what you guys are getting. So you guys want to go, you guys want to grab the first line of code right here, go in and paste that in search form. Make sure you've got all on. And then you're going to want to grab the second line of code, copy that and paste that in there. Now you're going to want to click OK. Don't click Replace All or it will not work, okay? Click OK, and it's going to do this. It might take about 5, 10 seconds. And then you're going to need to just keep repeating that with each different line. So there's six things, so in total, like, 12 lines of code. And you guys are just going to want to keep doing that until you get the point where you have done all of them. So I'm going to keep on doing this, and I will be back once I've done all of them. The last line of code. Grab this one. Right in there. Click OK. Now, once this is finished, uh, you guys are just going to want to click on File, and click Save. Oh, no. My gosh, hold on. File, and click Save. To create a backup, just gonna wait for all this to be done. By the way, if you guys see the red text, that's good. It's meant to do that, so don't don't fret. Don't think there's something wrong if you do that. That is completely fine. So we're gonna save this, and then we're going to close it. I'm gonna close the code as well. Uh, now we're gonna boot Epic Games and load up Fortnite. Um, once this is done, once I show you guys this works, I am gonna put in the scythe and show you guys how to do that. Um, but we're gonna do this. If you guys want to see a video. I do know how you can get any skin and emote only in the lobby, though. So not in-game, but in the lobby. I can show you guys how to do that. So if you really do want to use, like, any skin, like any rare skin or anything in the lobby, I can show you guys how to do that in a video on Monday. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. And I can also 
Um, and I'll be trying to update videos of like stuff like Red Knight, things like that. Just got to find the codes and stuff for it, guys. But let's bit up Fortnite. If you did it wrong, okay, if something went wrong, the game will either not boot at all, it will just say it crashed, or it will get to this point and crash. Like, the, just the loading bar, right? If you've done it right, you will get past that to the point where it's just patching. So if you've done it right, as you guys can see, and be careful because if you do click replace all, it will completely screw it up, okay? You will, it was not work, okay? You'll have to redo it. And the way you guys redo it, by the way, if it goes wrong, you want to click on the little gear next to it and you want to click verify. If you screw up, it's okay. You can completely fix this. And there is no way of you screwing up everything forever, okay? You can 100%, 100% fix it, okay? So we're going to go right here and select the... I'm actually blind. I'm legally blind. Oh, whiplash, I'm smart. And there we go, guys. The gold trooper skin. Right there. So as you can see, that worked. I'm about to go in game and show you guys. Now, a couple things that I want to mention. The reason... So there's YouTubers like Shotgun Plays and stuff who give you download packs where you can download them and put them into your game. The problem with that is, is for example, if you download the Shotgun Plays Skull Trooper pack... The Skull Trooper comes with a default face, so the face is actually a default. Things like that, so if you code it yourself, you actually get a better result and you get the full skin itself. That's why it's better off going like this. But as you can see, it's not legit, like, it's not like you own the skin, it still says Whiplash. But you can see it right there that we have it. Now I'm going to put it in the scythe and then we are going to actually uh, go into a game. But, so, as you guys can see, if you guys screw it up, you go right here to this gear icon, here, and click Verify. It's just going to verify all your files, and once it's done verifying, it will be completely fine, and everything will be back to normal. The reason that um, verifying can be annoying is because sometimes you put in, like, 20 skins or something, and then you screw one up, and you have to re-verify because you don't know how to fix it, and that's really annoying. Um, so that's not fun. Now, the way you're going to want to replace the scythe, you're going to want to open up H uh, HXD. Again, for some reason, I keep calling it HCXD. Really weird. I just my mind just keeps doing that. Now I open this up. I'm going to want to go on to this one, back onto the pack, and what you guys want to do is you want to open up Control R, go to hex values, and right here we have the thing. So I'm going to be doing the batticle, batticle right here. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this one, and we're going to come in here. And the thing that you guys want to do different here, not as simple as just click OK or whatever. You want to make sure it's an all, and you want to click replace all, okay? If you click OK, it won't do it. You want to do replace all. So, should say that. That's all good. Now, control R again. Grab the second one. You want to get your whiplash skin back, or your bicycle back, which I don't really know. Why you would want to get it back after you've got these, but if you do, just verify the game files and you're good. Play all. That's gonna load. Okay, guys. So file save. Creating backup games and hit launch. Now start to boot. All right, there we go, guys. Booting up. So we should now hopefully see the batsicle. As the scythe. Um, and the sound effects should be the same as well. I mean, if you do it with the plunger, I'm, I'm pretty sure it takes up the sound effects. I mean, I did it with the balloon axe. But so, see, okay, again, the problems, like I said, so like I said, that how sometimes when you download um, the packs, the sounds are really wonky. When I downloaded the scythe of the balloon axe, there was occasional times where when I'd hit, it would make a boom sound like from the balloon axe. That was, that was a great example. And make the, the balloon axe sound effect, but only like once in like a couple, like maybe once every ten, but still. So there we go, and we now have scythe in the batticle. So if I go into a playground, don't feel, and I load it up, I should now load in, and I should have. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I should have. And scythe. There we go, guys. I have the scythe. And I've got the gold trooper. As you can see, like flawless, like all the sound effects and stuff are working. You no know, motions, things like that work fine. Gotta always thank the bus driver, right? Always. 
matter what the circumstance. Alright, we're just gonna drop straight out. And I'll just show you guys that, you know, building everything works fine. I'm sure you guys can tell already, but I'll show sure you guys anyway. And that is really it. It is, like, not that hard. It's pretty easy. Doesn't take long. Um, and, like, there's so many people who I've seen in other videos on this be like, Oh, but does it work on console? Like, literally, this other video, like, this does not work on console. And there's people like, does it work on console? It, it doesn't work on console. It's not It's not possible, clearly. Like, it, it only works on PC because you have to code it. And I've had people be like, Oh, you know, maybe if you... Oh, uh, change it on the PC and link your account. No, it doesn't doesn't work like that. It's that's what I'm saying. It's not like you can see the skin. Uh, anybody else can see the skin. It's only for you because you've changed the game files. That is it. All right. So you guys can't like you know, show off your friends like, oh look at me, I have the girl troop. But no, no you don't. Okay, you've got the whiplash. I mean, if you believe you do, then you might. You just gotta believe in the dream, you know what I'm saying? As you guys can see, it fully works. Sound effects are on point, everything works. Sound effects too. No. Obviously, I don't think anybody cares about the uh, what the editing works like, but editing works fine. Everything works completely fine, and it's like you've basically got the skin. So, that's pretty much it guys, if you guys uh, did enjoy this video, please do be sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out guys, bye bye.